Hello and welcome back to Georgie's Gaming Guide. So today I'm going back into Minecraft. So the set number is 21186. The set is called the Ice Castle. It is made out of 499 pieces, so just shy of 500 pieces. This set includes six minifigures, three of which are unique. They are a royal warrior, a yeti, and a zombie with a iron helmet, I think. And the other three minifigures a are a zombie without a iron helmet, I believe. And the other two minifigures are two skeletons. So if we have a look at the um, front, so it actually looks like the majority of the build is put into this front bit here. I do like what they've done with like this sort of gate area. It looks like something shoots out two bits at the front. The Yeti does look a bit odd to me. I don't think it's a real mine, something that's actually in Minecraft. Um, so I don't know why that's there, but it is quite a nice touch. Um, it looks like there's a, there's all the minifigures. It looks like they're all attacking the royal warrior. Um, so we have yep the thing that I said was shooting. It looks like an anvil and a grindstone, a brewing stand and a throne, and then like a chest, and then it's showing the inside. Um, if you didn't know what, what an anvil, a grindstone, or a brewing stand is, I believe they're all real life things. Uh, like you, you'll get more of a brewing kit in real life. But they're also all things in Minecraft which you can use for uh, the anvil and grindstone are all, uh, both for tools and that much you know the anvils for tools the uh, grindstone I think you can use to make like stairs and stuff out of blocks and then you have the brewing stand which is to make potions um, and yeah so I think that is uh, it for the intro and yeah, so without further ado, let's go show you something to building. So this is the finished model and all in all I do think it looks quite nice. So if we go over the minifigures first, so we have got two zombies, one with the iron axe, one with the iron helmet. So the classic green face with the um, black eyes and the black nose, then we've got the um, green t-shirt and the purple trousers. Then we have the two skeletons where you have the main rib cage, then you have the legs and feet bits that clip on, you have the arm bits which you can clip on, and then you have the head with again the two black eyes and the black nose. Then we have the Yeti which is actually quite an odd one. Um, so he's got the crossbow and he's got red eyes with a unibrow, like uh, almost like a walrus's face, and then a blue uh, so it's like skin colours blue with um, like white fur I presume is what that would be and then the royal warrior so we've got her with a shield with an imprint on it of like sort of like a snowflake kind of a thing which is quite ironic as it is an ice castle um, then you have a diamond sword and she almost looks like Alex but she's got loads of gold on her which is the royal warrior um, and then sort of like the bluish turquoisey uh, like top and trousers. So if we go on to the set itself, there are a f uh, well, two of these like tower things which I can, sorry it is, these are just at a slight angle, it's quite annoying me. Um, so uh, there are these two towers, so there are some ladders 
going up to them, so two ladders, and then you do have a couple ladders on the inside of the set as well. Um, so yeah, they would obviously be used to uh, get up there and protect, uh, you know, use a bow or a crossbow um, to shoot down. We have a few lanterns, so there are two on the inside, and then there are also two on the outside, just at the bottom. Um, there are some sort of like cannons, so if I just put that fire, didn't go very far. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not, not too difficult, but yeah, so that is quite nice. So if we go onto the inside, so there's the um, grindstone, the anvil, the brewing sand, a cauldron with water in it, a bucket of water. Um, as I said, the two uh, ladders, then a chest with a few bits and bobs inside of it, and then so a, a throne for the royal warrior. I think the story of this is is that the skeletons and zombies are attacking the royal warrior, which is also protected by a yeti. Um, but yeah, so there is something else that I really liked. Is at the front, if I can, if this will work. You can see some purple right here. And in the carpet is actually swords at the corners. And it makes this really nice pattern when it's um, finished. And I think that's really nice. Oh, and there is actually a. Just trying to figure out which way around it is. It? It's this way around. There's a crafting table right there. Um, but yeah, so all in all, this is a really nice set. Lego's done a really job, a, a really good job with it. There we go. Um, not a really job good with it, um, and it's just really nice. I would really recommend it. I did this in just under an hour, so it was fifty-eight minutes thirty-seven, I think. Um, so pretty happy with that. Um, and yeah, so all in all, this is a really nice set, and I'd really recommend it. And yeah, so thank you again. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course your thoughts about it. And also make sure you watch out for this Sunday's video, which is going to be mine and dad's build and review of the Avatar set, the Tarek Makto, and the Tree of Souls.